All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm one of the instructors for CS220 this semester. One of the very first things we're gonna need to do is install Anaconda. This is the Python distribution we'll be using for the class. All right, and this particular video is for Windows machines. If you have a Mac, uh, click the other link to, for the instructions for downloading and installing the Mac version. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is go to anaconda.com slash download. Link is in the description, you can just click that. Uh, to download the Windows version, you click download with the little Windows icon. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. It's going to start the download process. If I click my little download in progress button, I can see that it's going to take approximately five minutes. I'm going to cut the video here and I'll be back in five. All right, looks like that's finished. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to my Anaconda 3 file and just click that to run it. In a moment, it's going to pull up the setup. Uh, I'm just going to walk through this. There's a couple places where I might need to click things that are important. So first, I'm going to agree to the license. And then I have a choice here. I can either install for just me on just my account. If I share my computer with another person, this might be a good idea. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm the only user on this computer. And then I'm going to choose where to install it. I'm just going to go with the default directory. This will be the Anaconda 3 folder. And then this one's important. This is where we need to click the scary ones. Uh, we want to add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable. The path is what my Windows operating system uses to find files in my computer, and I need it to be able to find Anaconda 3 and Python. So even though this comes up red and looks scary, click this one anyway. This means we can use it in PowerShell. <clears throat> we want to use Python as our default version. That's great. And I don't need extra junk on my hard drive when I'm done, so I'm going to click that one also. So click all four of them. And then install. All right, it's completed. I'm going to click next. And then next again. All right, I don't need the launch to get started. I'm going to do uh, one more thing before we uh, run this. So I'm finished. At this point, I'm going to go and I want to open PowerShell. So I'm going to push the Windows key or click on the little Windows button. It's going to bring up, um, if I can search for applications on my computer, I'm going to click the search bar. What I'm looking for is PowerShell. I want just the straight up first one, um, Windows PowerShell. I'm just going to open this. And now this is going to give me a command prompt. This is also known as a terminal. The terminal lets me type in two things. I can navigate my file system and I can run programs. So the first one I want to do is run uh, Python and ask for the version. So that's Python space dash dash version, no space between the dashes and version. This should tell me that I've got Python 3.11.5 installed. At the time of the recording, this is the latest version of Python. That's fantastic. The other thing we're going to need to install is Otter Grader. That's uh, the software that Python uses to grade your homework, so we'll need that. To install that, we're going to run a program called pip. You can see it's yellow there. Uh, we're going to tell pip to install, and the package we want is otter, O-T-T-E-R, dash grader, with no space. Enter. And it should go ahead and uh, download all the required files and install otter grader for us. And when that's done, we should be able to do run otter program and ask for the version. And it should pop up with this little flash screen letting us know the version is 5.2.3. That's the latest version at the time of the recording. All right, finally, one more check to make sure everything has worked. We're going to call the program Jupyter. That's part of the Anaconda distribution we just downloaded. Uh, run the notebook program. This is going to hijack my web browser and open Jupyter Notebook. From here, I can go ahead and begin running uh, Python programs. Uh, if I want to do that, I'll go to New, open a Python 3 kernel. This is going to open up my Jupyter Notebook, and I can write a very short program. Print. Welcome to CS220 slash CS319. All right, to run that, I just need to click the Run button, and it'll print that out for me. Okay, have a fantastic day, everybody, and I will see you in class.